Okay, first things first, I'm not wearing my glasses in these videos. There's just too much glare. It's just the way it's gotta be. So it's not that bad. So I have an emergency. Today, I got sunburned and I can't find the aloe. So today I finished high school. My last day. Yesterday was actually my last mandatory day, but today was the senior celebration, so I went to that, of course. It was fun. It was weird. Signed a lot of yearbooks. Because when you go to sign yearbooks, you immediately forget everything you know about the person who handed you their book and you're trying to think of like a memory or something to write about and nothing comes to mind for the first like minute or two, that's bad. And I feel like that's how I feel when I try to talk about high school now that it's over in these past couple hours. It's so... I just forget everything I know about it, I guess. Where do you even start is the real question. We got our senior newspaper. Which, of course, has all these things, like the senior wills and stuff, most importantly. Not really most importantly. But I, but I got Best Musician. Along with Maggie Deemer. She's also a very good musician. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think there were a few people that could have gotten that over me, but... I'll take it, and I'm grateful. So that's awesome. People always told me high school wasn't going to go by really fast, like before I even realized that it was over, it'd be over. They lied. I did not think it went by fast. I thought it was... I thought it was a pretty slow process. I mean, I was happy with it, but it was not fast at all. on. I finished a book yesterday. Yay! As you can see, I like books. This goes all the way around both sides. I also have some piles that just, I, I haven't had time to fit them in there yet. Another pile over there. Um, I am a hoarder of books and I'm okay with that. But yeah, I finished Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. Chuck Palahniuk is my favorite author. He's awesome. And um, you'll notice it's missing the cover. The reason for this is simple. The cover... The back of the book told me to turn the cover into a paper airplane, so I did. It told me to. It even had guidelines on it. Look at that. Guidelines. But anyways, it's a great book all about, um, no oh jeez. It's always fun describing Chuck Palahniuk plots to people because they're just weird. About a guy who is the last surviving member of a Cretish death cult dictating his life story into the recorder of a an airplane um, which will soon crash into the Australian outback. Um, he will unfold the tale of his journey from an obedient Cretish child and humble domestic servant to an ultra-buffed, steroid, and collagen-packed medium messiah. It's a solid book. Definitely recommend it. A lot of people actually might be more familiar with this book than they think. Uh, a quote from the book. Because the only difference between a suicide and a martyrdom really is the amount of press coverage. That line, of course, is the inspiration for the title of the song, The Only Difference Between Martyrdom and Suicide is Press Coverage by Panic at the Disco. Uh, 
a lot of songs on that album were inspired by Chuck Palahniuk books. You probably know his most famous book was turned into a movie called Fight Club. Yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, the cover that told me to tear it off, I feel like some people might get mad about that or whatever, or not be able to do it. It took me months to finally come to terms with the idea. I've had this book for a little while. It was in my pile of books I needed to read, um, but I finally decided to do it, and I like it. I liked breaking part of this book, as bad as that sounds. It was, like, was kind of like a wreck this journal experience, which I've never had one of those, but it seems like a cool idea, kind of a book telling you to destroy it. I thought that'd be an interesting thing to incorporate, as I am a budding writer, or trying to be one. So we'll see how that goes. And then, today, I bought another Chuck Palahniuk book. He's kind of a theme here. He's my favorite author. Choke looks pretty good. I'll let you know. The last thing I want to talk about is I read a comic last night, actually. Uh, the latest Miss Marvel. I currently own all four copies so far. If you don't know about the new Miss Marvel, uh, she is a Pakistani American girl and a Muslim American um, named Kamala Khan. So far, the series is awesome. As you can see, I've bought a copy of every one of them. I don't even read comics, usually. I appreciate them, but I don't read them a lot. Uh, I'm buying these as they come out. I feel like I should probably talk about like the actual, like, what's going on with this vlog. So it was inspired by the Vlogbrothers Brotherhood 2.0 because I've wanted to start a vlog for a while, but I didn't really know where to start. So I read a book a little while back called Steal Like an Artist about how you develop your own style by copying what other people do, whether it be writing fan fiction or writing music that sounds like your favorite musician or making vlogs that remind you, at least to some extent, of some of your favorite vloggers. So the hope is that in this month, Kevin and I, you and I, I'm supposed to refer to you, I think, in the first person, which is weird. I feel like I'm talking to the audience, but I'm supposed to talk to you. I don't know. I'll figure it out. The point is, we, uh, for the next month, we are going to go back and forth sending videos to each other. No text communication allowed. Um, only phone calls and videos and stuff like that. But yeah, so we are gonna hopefully develop a style as vloggers and after the 30 days continue to make videos. Maybe we'll even have some sort of a following. That's up to uh, them, not you, them, well you. I guess I'm talking to you and the audience. Let's work with it like that. So when I say you, I could mean anyone. That's up to you guys, not really. I'll clarify. Just like with Brotherhood 2.0, if either of us misses a day for a video, we will be punished. There will be punishments. We'll figure that out. We'll also have to institute some challenges and stuff. Um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So thanks for watching. If you have an idea for some sort of sign-off I could do, let me know. For now, I'll just sign off the way I signed off the announcements during high school when I said announcements every day. But instead of Mustangs, I guess YouTube or maybe we'll figure something out for now. This sign off is also inspired by the wonderful Welcome to Night Vale podcast, which I definitely recommend. So there will be links to things that I've talked about in the doobly-doo. That's right. The doobly-doo, because I am that much of a copier of the Vlogbrothers. I 
I I had some internal debate there about should I say doobly do? Does that come across as too much of a copycat? But if I say the description, it just feels wrong. So I'm gonna call it the doobly do. And so that's that. Good day, YouTube. Good day.